so we are down in the fitting room in Toronto and we're going to ask the guys, Brian and Brian, a few questions about the shop, about the brand and about their stories. So, yeah, can you um, both tell me a little bit about, oh, well, you, you first, Brian. I don't know which Brian to start with. Yeah. Uh, uh, how long have you been a barber and how did you get into it? Uh, so I've been a barber almost 13 years now. Um, so growing up in even before high school, but my mom, like growing up, she would always cut my hair. Um, and then I had like my best friend who lived across the street and I would always like kind of, it became a hobby. So I kind of practiced on him. It got to a point where I would even like dye his hair. And then he had really old school parents. So go in, he'd go home and like an hour later, I'd see him again and his hair would be dyed back to black. Um, kind of started like that. And then when I got, went to high school, I just, was the guy on my lunch break cutting in the hair and aesthetics class. Um, then after high school, I actually pursued, I was working construction as a bricklayer. And then coming home, like cutting hair after hours for all my friends and family. And then the barber shop where I used to get my hair cut at, the barber, the owner there, he knew that I used to cut hair on the side at home and he would see some of the cuts that I did. So one day he kind of approached me and said like, why don't you come here and like try it out. We'll buy you all the right tools and kind of get you started. So then one day I decided to do that. And then I pretty much never looked back. Uh, I never went back to construction. I've been cutting in a shop ever since. It's been almost 13 years now. So how did you see it as obviously investing in a barbershop? What, what were your first thoughts? And then how is it how has your mind changed since then? Yeah, well, it was definitely intimidating and scary at the beginning just because it's not an industry I was familiar with other than being the guy that used to get a haircut. So I was stepping into a new world that I didn't know much about, and that's obviously intimidating. But at the same time, I looked at it as this incredible creative challenge because of my other work. I've worked within like the charity sector. I've worked within the creative sector. I've worked within events and marketing and promotion and, and building brands. And I started to realize when we were talking, having those meetings, like at the end of the day, a barbershop's really this like community hub, it, if you allow it to be, or if you, if you evoke that culture within it. So we started talking and obviously Bry's got the barber side down, but I've got that community and, and kind of like building the culture vibe down. So once those ideas started flowing, it made a lot more sense. And I was a little less intimidated about the idea and I was like, man, I think I think we could do this. I think we could build something that's not only a, a great barbershop and, and offer proper services and whatnot, but we could bring together people that have never been brought together before into a creative space, a space that, that hosts events and allows our clients to, to just experience things that maybe not every other shop would give them. And I think that was what was most exciting for, for me to get involved. I know, like, if you could um, both give a short spiel about what is fit and room and what does it stand for what would you say um so okay we, d we call it the fitting room because like what like watching clients walk in the shop and then when they leave the shop they leave with like a totally different swagger and then for me it's kind of like when you go out and buy a new outfit and you wear it for the first time you feel like a whole new person and i think that's kind of like the feeling as a client you get when you got a fresh haircut you feel like you can kind of conquer the world and that's kind of where like the whole brand came from yeah and then just to partner with the side of the branding it was that community over everything aspect if we can bring guys in here and they feel at home and they feel like this is their maybe home away from home their second spot I think we can do a lot of interesting and cool things with, with uh, the types of people that'll walk through the door. So from the fitting room aspect and feeling like a new man to bringing them through the door and meeting other guys that are in different industries and maybe there's some cross collaboration, maybe there's some, some new friendships that evolve that wouldn't be there or, uh, otherwise. And I think those two things together have created what, what we've seen now today for three and a half years strong. And 
obviously a lot of shops uh, they would love to collaborate with brands or with other people or uh, things like that. What advice would you give to to you know a, maybe a small barber shop who are who will look into collaborate with like a you know alcohol company or a, sure. a clipper company? Like how would how would they go about that? What sort of mindset should they have? Yeah, well the first thing that I would always suggest is do it without a sponsor first. Do it the way that you see it. Do it authentic to yourself and your shop and, and your clients. Make sure everyone's getting something that they couldn't get normally. Once you achieve that, you have the ability to showcase that to a brand and have a little bit of leverage. And I think that's a, a smart place to start. Use your own shop and your own event as a case study. And if it is successful or if there's a few hiccups along the way, you know how to fix them. And by the time you're ready to speak to a brand or, or speak to a, a partner to collab with, man, you've got all the, the, the homework there for them to see. It's gonna work. Then you can start to talk about, is it product that you need? Is it support in terms of staff? Or is it a dollar amount? You know, what, what does the shop need to execute an idea? And we've been really fortunate over the years to execute a lot of fun ideas in the space with, with a lot of different brands. And once again, that helps us separate ourselves. And I think a, a young person starting their own shop you're going to want to separate yourself from the ones that exist in your neighborhood or even even your city. And and yeah, if, if you start small, it can always grow. Don't don't start up here. Start grassroots and slowly build your way up.